when you know when people hear bull trap they think oh it's just a, a, a fake out event that you know we're, we're still going to go lower all this stuff and that doesn't necessarily mean that it could mean hey this doesn't mean we're going to just go hockey stick and back up again but it could mean that you know maybe we, we make uh, higher lows or something or we uh you know in, in that area so yeah if you could just yeah maybe explain the different kinds of bull traps uh uh Real quick, that might, that might be helpful. Sure. So a bull trap kind of fundamentally just kind of uh, describes a local or cycle high, where you price pumps. You think price, we think price is going to keep going, but really it's just a trap uh, to get bulls long and then liquidate them. So that's that's essentially what it is. And uh, you know, you look for kind of a bull trap. Uh, whenever we're kind of overextended here and we are overextended like for example when we look at the rsi on the daily we're pretty goddamn close to where we were with previous local highs and the all-time high as well same with the stochastic on a three-day so we're essentially overextended and looking for confirmation you want to see us closing getting a higher time frame candles opening closing on a new low once we get that, we could get a bull trap, which essentially just means that the local highs are in and that we could go on to see either a large correction or simply a period of consolidation. Uh, bull trap can mean a lot of things. We could see a quick crash. We could see a long drawn out correction, or we could just see a small crash and then a period of consolidation. It could really mean a lot of things.